December 20, Friday of the Late Advent A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord You will conceive in your womb. Six months after announcing to Zechariah the birth of John the Baptist, the angel Gabriel goes to Nazareth to tell Mary that she will bear a son. Mary is willing, like any other Jewish girl, but ask how it will be possible since he has no husband yet. The angel assures her that the Holy Spirit will act upon her. God will preserve her virginity, again doing the impossible, just as God has done for Elizabeth. God intervenes in the lives of the two women, one old, the other young. God wants to accomplish the divine plan for the salvation of God's people. God needs their cooperation. Mary will be the mother of the Son of the Most High who will sit on David's throne and rule forever the house of Jacob. Mary's yes is a bold response to God. She must be full of grace and highly favored by God. Thus, she can give herself totally to the plan of God. No ifs or buts. No signing of contract. No cameras. But something is already happening in her womb. Pope Francis once encouraged women to get married and to bear children. Motherhood is good. It makes women affectionate and always excited. <music>